Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to get, uh, how to create a wall collision, so the player can't pass through walls. Uh, let's get started. First, let's get a couple boards. Solder them together. Input. Get uh, this D pad button. Output this screen. And MISC, we need a video chip and a CPU. And that's all we need. Close it up. Over here on the left, click on the blue bar. Click on edit, cpu0.allow, edit, and let's create um, a variable called video equals gdt.videochip0, another variable called pad equals gdt dot d pad zero alright let's create our player we can do player equals opening and closing curly brackets and now let's get the position of the player so let's do player dot x equals ten player dot y equals 10 so these coordinates are for the screen so the top left is 0 0 so X would be 10 to the right 10 pixels to the right and Y would be 10 pixels down so we're gonna start at the top left of the screen alright let's get our player movement going so we do player dot x equals player dot x plus pad dot capital X divided by 100 and then for our y we do player dot y equals player dot y plus no minus pad dot capital Y divided by 100 <clears throat> and now we need the width and height of the player so let's create a variable called player dot width equals player dot x plus 10 and now for the height player dot height equals player dot y plus 10 so this is going to be um, the width so it's going to be x plus 10 so 10 to the right of wherever x is starting and y 10 from the bottom Uh, I'll show you guys in a, in a minute. Now let's create the player. So we do video colon draw rect and then get a vec2. Inside the vec2 player dot x comma player dot y back into the draw rec make another comma and another vec2 inside that vec2 player dot width comma player dot height back into the draw rect add another comma and let's pick the color 
color dot yellow. And make sure we got to clear the screen before we do anything. So we do video colon clear and we choose the color black. And before we do that, we also got to click on the screen, go to the bottom left. We got to pick the video chip, click on none, and pick video chip zero. And now it should work, let's see. Yep, works good now. Alright, let's create that wall. So let's, we're going to leave this update function and we're going to create another function below it called function wall parentheses. <clears throat> so let's create that wall. We do video colon fill rect. And then create a vec2 inside, parentheses. And we're going to need the coordinates for like wh uh, where we want this wall to be. So inside the wall, we're going to add four, five parameters. So we're going to get the rectangle x comma rec y comma rec width comma and rec height comma and last color so back into the fill rect we go inside the vec2 and it's going to be rec x comma rec y add another vec2 inside the fill rec and it's going to be rec width comma rec height and then back inside the fill rec add another comma color So to call this function, we go back into the update to activate the wall, and then we do, we just type wall, parentheses, and then we add the five parameters that we want. So let's say we want the wall to start at a uh, 20, now let's do 30 on the x axis, comma, 30 on the y, comma, let's say the height 40, or the width is 40, and the height 50, comma, and then color dot red. Let's see if we can get it to work. Alright, we got our wall working. Now we need to code the collision. So we go back into the wall. Back into the wall function. And then we write an if statement. So if the player dot with is greater or equal to rec x, so the rectangle x, and player dot height is greater or equal to rec y, and player dot x is less than or equal to rec width. 
and last one and player dot y is less than or equal to rec height then so then we got to in order to make the player stop all we gotta do is copy and paste this all the player movement copy and paste uh, in the function wall in that if statement and all we gotta do is reverse it so player.x plus pad you do player.x minus pad player.y plus pad.y and then we want the width and height to follow along with that reversal so we also put it here keep it the same and let's see if we can get it to work Yep. Now the player cannot pass through the wall. So with this if statement, we do these ands mean if this is true and this is true and that is true and that is true, then we do this. So all of these have to be true in order for this statement to run in order for this block to run that's what the and is for now let's write a um, a border function right below the wall so the player can't leave the screen we do function border parentheses and it doesn't require any parameters let's um, create the border do video colon um, draw rect create a vec2 and those coordinates are 0 comma 0 for the first vec2 second vec2 64 comma 64 back into the draw rect color um, let's just say magenta but we don't really need a color you can just say black if you want the border to be invisible And let's write a another if statement. So if player dot width is greater or equal to sixty four or player dot height is greater or equal to sixty four or player.x is less than or equal to zero and last or player.y is less than or equal to zero then we want the player to stop so we can use the same code that we did for the wall copy and paste it you could also make this a function that will be your guys' uh, challenge. See if you can make it a function. Get it to work. So we don't have to, the function, we don't have to keep, you know, copy and pasting this over and over. We can just call, let's call it a collision function. You just put it collision in here with parentheses. All right, let's see if we get it to work. and we can't that's because we need to call it and we call it in the update function same as the wall 
So you just put border with parentheses. That's all you gotta do. And now we got to work. Let's clean this up a little bit by putting the VEC2, the second one, 63, comma 63, so we can see the border. And there we go. And we can zoom in here by closing this blue bar, pressing shift, holding shift. And now we have a border and a wall that the player can't pass through. So that's how you do that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want help with something else. And I'll see you guys in the next video.